CSR is about doing things, but it's also about reporting about what you do. And it, it's about accountability. So being accountable means that you have to report what you do or what you don't do, or what you don't do as good as you would like to do it. So uh, I consider that uh, reporting is, is a key um, a key factor in competitiveness. If you, uh, if you do a lot of things but you don't tell your stakeholders uh, about what you have done, they might imagine that you are doing just nothing. So it will have a concrete impact on, on the, the way they look at you. Uh, so um, it's not just about uh, uh, regulatory compliance. Now in France we have a law which says that um, big companies, well, about 500 person, people, have to report about CSR. Uh, so there might be a tendency to take that as just compliance. Okay, the law asks ask me to, to report, I will report. Uh, in fact, the challenge is totally different, is to use this uh, the reporting, the CSR re reporting, to um, demonstrate that you are re-engaged and to make it uh, a differentiation, so make it a, a driver uh, for competitiveness. The largest publicly traded companies, the companies who are exposed to social and environmental issues, so it depends on the industry, but I would say like oil and gas companies, chemi chemical companies, uh, defense companies, the, the, the companies that know that as a social role, uh, they're not necessarily uh, meeting the, the society expectation. Uh, polluters uh, have to offset some of the, the, the actions they do by, by reporting. So research has clearly shown that a size, large firms with environmental or social exposure usually are the ones who report the most in the most beautiful way. If customers and consumers and society uh, is believing and, and, and relying only on the social reporting uh, issued by company, then uh, that's why it could be problematic. And as I said earlier, uh, the lack of enforcement and, and, uh, and regulation would be uh, also another uh, source of problems. RS France is a company, uh, of course, active in, in the field of CSR, and we have two areas, let's say, of expertise. The first one is uh, social reporting, CSR reporting. Uh, the idea is that uh, if you report, if you want to be credible, you need somebody, you need a third party to audit your reporting. And that's actually, uh, in France, it's, it's, it's a regu regulation say that you need to have a third party. Uh, we talked about the level of confidence, the level of trust. Well, I think we have now to do something to increase this level of trust. At this time, I think there is a growing acceptance that there are a wide range of factors beyond uh, financial measures uh, that uh, influence, uh, that have an impact on um, company uh, performance. However, uh, there are also a number of uh, academic research papers uh, uh, that show that um, the link between uh, CSR and profitability, for instance, is a very weak one. And uh, besides, uh, it is not very clear what drives what. Uh, are you engaged in CSR because you are profitable? Or, uh, or is it the fact that you are, in, uh, that you are engaged, uh, that you are profitable, that it makes you engage in CSR? There is still a, a, a dilemma for, for leaders, what should they do? Especially in a, for a topic like this, um, we have a, a gap between academics and practitioners. Professionals are not uh, understanding what academics are doing and academics really don't know what's going on in practice. It's very important to gather those two groups, uh, establish a dialogue, establish a conversation. Uh, in my workshop later today, I will have uh, some professionals, experts in the area of sustainable development, reporting. Uh, I have a, a very diverse audience where we can exchange ideas, suggestions, uh, and learn from each other. So the more events like this, the, the better, and I'm very excited about this.